A federal prosecutor from Chicago is now in charge of turning over subpoenaed Justice Department documents to congressional committees investigating alleged bias against President Trump. It is the latest move in what has been a highly contentious process. Tonight, we welcome the U.S. attorney in charge of this, John Lausch. Thanks for being here. Thanks. Happy to be here. Thank you. Let's start by asking you, where are we now? How many of these documents have been turned over? Okay, so there's, there's, there's a handful of documents that have been turned over. There's, there's several thousand pages. But um, I think the key at this point is really identifying, you know, what additional relevant information is out there, um, turning it over as quickly as we can. Um, and doing so as completely as we can, given the legal obligations that exist. And there are certain legal obligations that we have as prosecutors, um, which prevent us providing some documents, like grand jury material, things like that. Um, but that's really where we're at in the process. What is the total scope of what you're looking at? How many okay. total documents? Okay, so, and there's been some kind of mi little missing for misnomer about the documents that are out there. One of the numbers that's out there is, I think, 1.2 million. Um, and that's the entire universe of materials that went to the inspector general. But the, the number of relevant documents is going to be much less than that. How much less than that? I, I, I don't know. I, I anticipate a lot less than that um, for various reasons. But, you know, one of my jobs is to figure out what are those relevant documents to work with the people that are reviewing them now and to ensure that we get them produced as quickly as we can. Chairman Goodlett basically asked for everything the IG was given from the FBI, yeah. right? Well, uh, what the IG was given from the FBI as it relates um, to, the Clinton matter. to the Clinton matter, exactly. All right, exactly. so our Justice Department producer yep. tells me that sources familiar with this this process say right. if you look at the, the Clinton investigation, right. The number goes right. down from 1.2 million to about 400,000. Is that right? right? It goes down a lot less. I'm not prepared to say what that number is yet. I'm just getting started. Um, but I think it goes down substantially. And if you do yeah. basic word searches, it goes down even more. Right. That's and, and that's the hope is really figure out the, the way to identify the most relevant materials as quickly as we can to get Congress what what it's entitled to, All so right. they can the, do their job. The FBI director Chris Ray said on March 27th, I'm doubling the number of assigned FBI staff for a total of 54 to cover two shifts per day from 8 a.m. to midnight to expedite completion of this project. It is April 10th, 15 days later. You have Capitol Hill up in arms that they can't get these documents. There's frustration up there. There's frustration from the president. What is taking so long? Right. So, I mean, based on my experience, both as a, as a prosecutor and then in private practice beforehand, I mean, document reviews, they, they can just take time. And one of the reasons that they take some time is you know kind of reviewing all of the materials to look for relevance, but then to figure out what what materials need to be redacted out of there, and so the additional folks that have been added is going to be helpful. Understanding Absolutely. that you're yeah. just coming yeah. on, right. but I mean you understand this process has been going on for right. a long time, right. right? Up until you, right? All right, here's Trey Gowdy uh, right. up on Capitol Hill. If there's a national security issue, uh, we want it redacted. But most of what they send us now looks like an, an, a, a, an inkblot test. I want to be able to support the FBI and DOJ. But the world's premier law enforcement agency can't seem to operate a damn copying machine. We are tired of being patient. So you hear that frustration. Right. What's yep. Absolutely. I, I think that's one of the reasons why I'm here, is, is to address that specific frustration. I, I look forward to meeting the congressman tomorrow. I've met some other congressmen today um, in order to deal with exactly that issue. I think the redaction issue is an issue that we just need to confront head on and, and talk about why certain things are redacted and find a way to give them um, faith that what they're getting um, is, is the right information. And if there are redactions there to explain what that is and, 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 and why they're not entitled to receive it. Right. And the president's tweet is, what does the Department of Justice, the FBI, have to hide? Why aren't they right. giving the strongly requested documents unredacted right. to the House Judiciary Committee, stalling, but for what reason, not looking good? Have you heard from the White House on this issue? I, I have not. I have not. I, the, earlier today, I mean, I, I met with the Attorney General. I met with the Deputy Attorney General. I met with the General Counsel of the FBI. It's, it, it's very clear that my direction is to ensure that we get the documents produced as quickly as we can. We do so completely um, under, under the laws, and we do so with integrity and professionalism. Do you look at the substance of those documents as far as the there there? 
I mean, as a prosecutor? Right. Well, I mean, I, as far as my job, my job, I think, is, is going to be a lot about process, part of which will be the redactions, right? And, and we, we, we're going to want to give them as much as we can. Because Congress has a very important job to do here, and we, we want them to do that. We need them to look at these documents in order, in order to do their job. Um, so we'll look at the substance in order to determine are the redactions appropriate. Right. And lastly, do you have any indication when the IG is going to come forward with his report? I do not. But do you expect it before you finish the process of getting documents up to Capitol Hill? I, I don't know the answer to that. Well, listen, we appreciate the answers that you have been able to provide, and thanks for the time. Right. Thanks for having me. Okay. Take care.